I've been saying all season long that the Miami Heat have a pretty much a clear cut path uh, to the NBA Finals. You know, they pretty much don't have a lot of competition. And, uh, and I was wrong. You know, first of all, I, I want to tip my hat off uh, to the whole Indiana Pacers organization and team, man. They put up a, a valiant effort against a great, great team. Uh, they were outmatched, outgunned, you know, out, outmanned. And they hung in there for seven games. And then, um, you know, it, it fell apart for them in that, uh, in that seventh and final game. But, uh, you know, without having arguably their best player in Danny Granger, uh, Roy Hibbert stepping up his game up and being one of the best players uh, and the, probably one of the best centers in our league today. Paul George emerging as a superstar in front of our eyes. Frank Vogel doing a great, great job as a coach. And all the rest of those guys on the Pacers uh, team. And, you know, NBA Jerry, I definitely, um, you know, tip my hat off to him. I was, I was kind of sad, actually, watching the Pacers lose lose that game. Even though, you know, I picked the Heat and stuff like that. Um, I, when I see a team uh, young like that and, and working hard and fighting hard, you know they want it. And then to come up short, not saying that the Heat didn't want it too, but for them to come up short, it just, um, you know, it saddened me a little bit. But, hey. You know, obviously the better team won. And the Miami Heat, you know, they're they're just a championship contending team. And with Wade stepping his game up and Bosch and obviously LeBron James, the big three being back. Uh, and then they're just a total great defensive effort by the Miami Heat. It was just too much for the Indiana Pacers, especially being on the road and not having a lot of experience in these type of games. You know, that's a that's a big, big, big mountain to climb for them. But hey, you know, congratulations on a great on a great, great season. Uh, by the Indiana Pacers and all those guys, man. They don't have nothing to hold their head down for. They they did their best, and that's all you can do. You know, I never down people or talk down or, or you know, talk bad about somebody that loses. Everybody's going to lose. It's just that you have to give an effort, and the Pacers did that. And they, they, they sh pretty much overflowed their talent in this series. And, um... And the Indiana Pacers really made a great matchup out of this uh, out of this series with the Heat. They really did. So congratulations to the Indiana Pacers on a great, great season. Uh, the Miami Heat, like I said, man, these guys are uh, you know they're on a mission, and for them to uh, be in this situation, basically win or go home uh, at home, you know, with the best player in the league, LeBron James, and then all the questions about the big three and Dwayne Wade not playing good and Chris Bosh. Uh, basically just had a terrible game the last one and been being over you know overpowered and overplayed and just uh, manhandled basically by Roy Hibbert um, it was a great great effort by those guys man the Miami Heat the entire organization from everybody that played they played a outstanding team defensive game they're very efficient on the uh, offensive end even though they turned the ball over sometimes and they didn't shoot that well um, they took really really good shots and the defense man Man, that was an incredible, incredible defensive effort by the by the entire Miami Heat, uh, led by my you know LeBron James and Dwayne Wade. You know those two. Oh man, those guys are weapons of mass destruction, man. And uh, Dwayne Wade, he's a champ, man. That guy is a champion. He is a he's got a heart of a champ, and for him to be hurt and going through all the things that he's been going through, uh, not only for this series but you know the entire playoffs and not being able you know physically to do the things he's he's normally can do it's frustrating for him but he pulled through and had pretty much the biggest game of the series tonight and he he came through man and he is one of the leaders of the of the Miami Heat and he showed he's got a heart of a champion that guy he just it was just like in 2006 man when he was down you know and uh two games and nothing and they were down he said I'm not going out like this and I seen the heart and the determination in, in Dwayne Wade tonight and I you know Dwayne Wade is one of my favorite players and I love watching that guy play and, uh, you know, even though he missed some shots here and there, and so did Bosh, uh, both of those guys put up a real good effort. And it was aggression, aggressiveness they played with tonight. They played with a fight, and they just basically said, hey, we're not going to lose this game. You know, along with LeBron James, too. They all came out and said, man, this is just one game. This is basically like a college NCAA tournament game. We're not going to lose. And they refused to lose, and they didn't. You know, they played a great team game. Uh, Eric Spolstra, man, he, looks, he just looks so comfortable in his in his position as a as the uh, coach of the heat you know I remember when he was you know assistant coach and he just looked like a young guy that was just coming up and stuff like that but now he's just such a seasoned 
a veteran as a coach, you know, controlling all these big egos, man. He's doing a great job, and Pat Riley should definitely be proud of him and this whole organization, man. Uh, it was a great series. I had a I had a real good time watching it. Uh, the Indiana Pacers, like I said before, uh, they made believers out of me, especially when I just knew, like I said, been all season long that the Heat just basically didn't have any competition, and uh, they definitely proved me wrong. The Indiana Pacers, they gave the Heat everything they had and then some in this series. So uh, the NBA and David Stern should be very happy about this, even though the Spurs, you know, swept the Grizzlies and stuff like that. You know, you know this. You know, the NBA doesn't want any sweeps, but, uh, you know, the Pacers and the Heat definitely made up for that. And uh, I'm very, very happy about this series. I really, really am. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what the Pacers do in the offseason, you know, with David West being a, you know, a free agent and Danny Granger and stuff like that. And, you know, they definitely need a point guard. So we'll see what they do. Uh, but the Miami Heat are moving on. You know, game one of the, of the finals is Thursday. Um <laughs> You know, people have been asking me about my predictions or my guesses, and I'm going to say that, you know, for and, and I'm going to do that in a couple of days. Um, it's only Monday, and by the time you watch this, maybe Tuesday, and I'm going to think about this. I, I definitely have my team in mind, uh, but, you know, after seeing some things, ah, man, this is going to be a very, very tough decision for me to, to see uh, who's going to win this, but I'm going to look at some things and break some stuff down, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my picks here real real soon but uh you know i want you guys' thoughts you know let me know what you guys think about this 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 whole entire series and give me your predictions on the you know the spurs and the uh miami heat this is basically the two best teams in the league uh pretty much all season you know put put aside the the oklahoma city thunder uh they were too in the west uh you know of course uh with the West, russell westbrook injury that that put them back uh but the spurs our well-oiled machine, man, <laughs> and with Greg Popovich and Tim Duncan stepping in the hot tub time machine and Manu Ginobili and Tony Parker playing like a mini LeBron James and with the with the bench and, the, and that system they run, man, that is going to be a very, very tough team to beat. And the Miami Heat uh, are going to have their hands full, as is the Spurs, you know, because the Spurs are playing the, you know, the defending champions. It's going to be great, man. You know, so I'm going to give you my uh, predictions or guesses in the next couple of days. I'm going to let you guys know who I'm going to think is going to win, why they're going to win, and, how, and, and in how many games. Okay? So like I said, let me know what you guys think uh, about this whole series. And uh, congratulations to the Pacers for a great season. And congratulations to the Miami Heat and the San Antonio Spurs for making it to the NBA Finals. All right? Thanks, guys. Take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you soon. And don't forget, if you can believe it, you can do it. Thanks for watching. You guys know I appreciate it. And remember, folks, always, always treat people how you want to be treated. And everything will be okay. This is NBA Jerry, and I'll talk to you soon. Keep your head up, Paul George. Peace.